My name is Nekanem Inya, and I'm there for studio with uh, Siwa Ju Shitu, in uh, the former national chairman of uh, Alliance National Party, ANP. Oga, okay. good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon, and good afternoon to Nigerians. <laughs> so you don't call, you don't call. Yes. This is our program now, waiting <laughs> to happen, you see as it be. Things that for Nigeria for different side, but what, the, what we want to really concentrate on now, election time don't come 2023, and they will see say primary is not finished, and the kind of money we spend for primary, poor man not figure time. Election time, we hear what for it yesterday, so they even they pay money to even say many people come vote. And these people we will see now for Lagos, uh, with a year from other side, say if you be saying a person even sponsor for Nigeria politics, how will you reduce the costs of campaign and election for Nigeria? Yeah, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as you addressed me earlier that I was a national chairman of a political party in Nigeria up to 2019 general election, okay. where I was able to participate at various levels of our uh, elections mm -hmm. at that period. Uh, it was uh, a very big ex experience in my life that uh, Nigeria, we have a long way to go. And uh, civilization is going on everywhere. The whole world is moving on ahead. But the major problem we have in Nigeria is the kind of uh, orientation we have gotten. Uh, number one, we have to flash back to history okay. before we can get it right. And before we know that we are in serious problem. If you see the history of Nigeria, we pass through what they call slave trade in Nigeria. Slave trade of the, European, uh, the Europeans then, before we got our independence. Mm -hmm. We suffered a lot in the hands of the Europeans, and especially our four forefathers then. It was not the white people that were tying chains on our leg. It was a kind of trade between the European and Nigeria. It was our forefather then that had selling us to the white people. But the people don't know now. They say they give them gifts whether they like. I, that is what I'm saying. This, that is what I said. Where the problem start from? The orientation we got in this country, that uh, we 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 are even as wicked to ourselves than anything you think of. But among these leaders that we still have in our country, you can see that many leaders stood up then to fight that uh, they are most, uh, this is, it will come to an end, this type of slave, slave trade that is coming, that is uh, taking place in our country. And God help us, we are able to succeed to, 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 to get our independence and uh, become a nation that we are, we are today. But from there, we have a very long rule again of the military and others. Uh, but unfortunate enough, you can see what is happening in, in the democracy we are crying for that we say democracy will be the best option for us yes. in Nigeria, like uh, where other people practice democracy in other parts of the world. So now, the worst of it now is even worse than when it was during the white slave trade. How are you talking about like that? Yes, I would talk um, like that. Because look at how rich, anywhere you go in any part of the world, if they hear say you are in Nigeria, they will say, oh, this is money. They will welcome you very well. That was many years back. They will welcome you very well. Nigeria, a very rich country. If you go for business, oh, very rich. But are we rich? We are rich now. We are rich. Are you we rich? Get, we get oil, we get cocoa. Are you rich? Your papa figure money, boy, the chop. Are yes. you comfortable in your house? Are you, you that you are with me now? Nigeria is rich and you are in Nigeria. And you agree that Nigeria is rich. It is only when Nigeria can be rich, it is only when they circulate the wealth of Nigeria to Nigerians. Mm. Who are our leaders? How are they managing our resources? Have we realized that we are under internal slave trade in the same country now? All our wealth is being managed by few people and taking our money to different parts of the world. And Nigerians up to now, that is why I'm saying our uh, orientation is unfortunate. Mm. The major problem, I will tell you, is even the people when they vote for these people. We Nigerians ourselves. But, uh, sorry to cut you, you say you be former national chairman. Yes, party. yes. Your party, which will not be the tell on the people before election time? Thank you very much. Uh, you can see I have been in politics for many years back. I was a civil servant, but because of the future of my country, I interact with many people in this country at past, like many white people. 
that I do business together with them. I do a lot of things. We become friends. But the only challenge that makes me even go out from the government was uh, they will ask you, Shitu, did you have hope in the future of your country? I continue asking, uh, receiving these messages many times. From the white people? From the white people that are in Nigeria. I will say, why? They will say the rate of corruption in Nigeria, nothing that is impossible in Nigeria if you have money. So you start continue to wonder that uh, because the way of your leaders, don't they think that one day even your oil will dry? Don't they think that one day all these resources that they are not managing well, you are, the future is in danger for Nigerians? If they don't diversify into your maybe agriculture is there, mm. uh, mineral soil, all different mineral resources are there. They cannot identify it. They only this oil, oil. One day this oil, how many years we have tested your oil? Your oil after many years, uh, maybe 20 something years, that time I was saying, this oil will dry one day. And it is true. It is, it is the same science that discovered that this oil, that the same science is saying that one day this oil will dry. That why is wrong with our leaders? So it makes me go out and said, I have to join politics to be part of the people that can rescue this, our country. Yeah. I joined through uh, PDP then in uh, 1999 to, uh, uh, when, uh, to up till uh, uh, 2017 that I left, that I said, if it is with these people, I don't think they have any ideology that they just come together as a political party, but not an, an ideological base of what we are talking of for me to say I want to join politics. So a lot of this party, they don't have any ideology. So I was forced to go out. I searched for different movements, different groups in Nigeria. When I was able to uh, identify, discover this uh, Konkosia movement that I saw that is an ideological based movement when I joined Konkosia then. I joined Konkosia, but Konkoso was in PDP. I left. I said, I cannot be in his support, but I believe in his ideology. <clears throat> because what he's doing and what they are saying about the ideology of their movement is real. They send students abroad, they do a lot of things. You can see when he was governor of Kano State two times, you can see when he was minister. I continue to have belief in that kind of uh, cause that uh, if somebody can have this kind of ideology, it can be real. So I went to, I said that, okay, if it is real, we cannot succeed from this uh, political party. That is when we were able to come together with different Nigerians and form Alliance National Party then. Okay. They, 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 up to 2019 that uh, we, we started. It's a long-term process. We don't believe immediately we come on board, immediately we take over the country. Many of us with uh, like minds are uh, people of Nigeria that have good belief that by the grace of God, one day Nigeria will be a better place. Like what you asked me, that what have our party been doing? Because I participated in the last election. It was unfortunate that up to now, <coughs> the education of our people, not only when you become professor, you become this, but we need to educate our people about civilization. How civilization is how do you know left from right and that you have a future. If you cannot identify it in time, you are in a serious problem. So up to now, look at the people that we know that a whole person have this, have that. We see a lot of things they talk about that same person. What is happening now in, 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 in APC? Look at the leaders of this party. It's the same leaders of this party who, who want to say they want to come and rescue our Nigeria in 2023 general election. But the same people cannot come together and say, what is the, what, how can we find a lasting solution? to the problem of sea insecurity in Nigeria. They are part of this government. And I continue telling them, it's not too late. For this remaining nine months yes. or ten months before our general election, they should help. How can we, well, we don't even know how to survive Nigeria before this 2019 in terms of insecurity and economic situation. They should team up and come with ideas that can solve the problem of Nigerians before 2019. How can Niger the same Nigerians say that they, they are shouting the names of these, the leaders of the same people, that they are in the same party, that we find ourselves today. Look at Nigeria. If diesel now, before me, I'm a farmer. The diesel I was buying 190,000 to my tractor in my farm. Now diesel is about 850 naira. So tell me if I want to sell one, if I, I was producing rice, maybe at about 10,000 naira before. Maybe now we sell that same rice in the market, maybe 30,000 naira. Before the person that we process it and sell. We don't know what to rice in the few months to come. Tell me what the kind of inflation that we, are, we should be expecting. There is no lie about all what I'm saying. It is real. It is a simple analysis. So look at the economy, how it's falling every day. 
Our dollars from how much? From 171 days. Look at the dollar now. It's about 600 Six, naira. Over, over 600. Over 600 naira. For black market. For black market. So tell me what is working well in this country. That the same government wants to come and take over. That they cannot come together now with lasting solution. Me, I will be the best person We say that by the grace of God, we don't have what to use to campaign against these people. If they can find solution to our, uh, our problem in Nigeria before 2023. Because the only thing that can give us strength, like now I belong to uh, the New Nigerian People's Party, because I told them, if it is in PDP, even uh, Senator Abim Musagon Kusu, that if, it, if you really, really mean well for Nigeria, don't belong to either PDP or APC, because they are not ideological based uh, party. Let's go and look for, let's all Nigerians, like minds Nigerians, that mean well for this Nigeria come together. Let's go and belong to another party, neutral party that we know that the ideology you have, the ideology this one have, let's bring it together and go and look for a way to rescue Nigerians. That is the only way. But these same people in the same party with that ideology, they, they, there is no ideology there. Mm. So but, we are in serious problems. So but, I don't know where Nigerians now are still saying the same thing. They will go and give you 10,000. I'm thanking this television station. Because if we did not have a platform like this to tell Nigeria the truth matter, the future of Nigeria is in danger, as I'm telling you, that we will not have hope. How can they say they are giving you 10? Look at what is trending all over their social media now. Eh? That the, 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 all these uh, the media people, uh, what, uh, what is it called? In uh, Ekiti. We just concluded the uh, Ekiti yesterday. election yesterday. Well, look at what is going all over. People are very open that saying that, yes, they are saying that APC is giving money. They cannot hide it. Not that they are not even calling names. They are calling names. It is they are not only me, not that me but, even saying but it's, it's not. Only, but it's not only that party, not only APC. That is, that is every what. Poli every party, when they do primaries for Nigeria. Yes. Why like, ABC? Look at what happens in PDP's uh, yeah, primaries. Okay, wait, most start from, most start hmm? from your party, your former party. Yes. When you did that time, 2019. Yes. When you do your primaries, yes. you spend money. How will we spend money? We do not spend money so because... So the delegate, the delegate, the vote... They on their own. Because it is, we call it like minds. People that we believe in the future of this country come together with ideas. That let us form ourselves, let us come together. We don't have money, but we believe we have the people of Nigeria because our prayer is how can we rescue these people of Nigeria. So what you call in 2019? The people of Nigeria where you phone and gave their money. That is why I'm saying we have a long way to go. To right. sensitize, to change the mindset, the way of the thinking of Nigerians. Because uh, the practical experience I told you I had was when you go to election place up to now, Nigerian people will just tell you there is poverty. They never knew the meaning of the danger of the little penny they are collecting that cannot get their future for them, cannot rescue their future for them. Let Nigeria thinking start, people start taking the will of their thinking and start thinking of who is the best leader that we can, we have heard about his past, that we have heard that he belongs to the people of the, the that is only every time he's thinking is about the masses of Nigeria. Who is that kind of leader? We should start identifying it. Like what me I say now. I say me I left where I was. I joined Konkoso group because of what. And now I told you we still still we still same group. If other people believe in themselves, they should leave the party they have because that party have not succeeded in Nigeria. And look for a party. And look for another party if they know that they want to rescue Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But most of them are lying under a, hiding under a party. That that party name is what we rescue them. So now that is the problem we are facing. So Nigerians should start believing that it is we that we should stand on our feet and rescue, that, and rescue Nigeria. Nigeria ourselves. Hmm. Now in my country, people are here with now they talk. But you with the house and they talk and hear this program. Now now we do now on Sunday, on Saturday, and on Friday. Uh, now me and you they do the program. If you get any suggestion, we feel commuters for this condition we did now. Nigeria will be like man with a drown. If you see broomstick, you go to see Nairo Kutri. So any suggestion we feel say go help us, we would figure our PVC, go help us make we see money for election day, come out I do the right thing. To help us choose people, we go, re, we go govern, we go represent us for different position. Any way we feel say we figure it out right. Feel free, the number there is your television screen. If you call us, or if you send us WhatsApp or SMS, I sit there for studio with Asiwa Joshitu, uh, in a former national chairman of AMP. Uh, so we will continue to the talk because in the contest to as president for 2019, he <laughs> not talk that one. And you go tell us as you not spend money, how not they go around Nigeria? How not they source for fall for that sort of movement that time? Yes, thank you very much. See uh, the little we were able to 
the little experience then was a great experience that uh, if you look at why what moves me to say that uh, I will participate in the race of the presidency in 2019 uh, was I, I, I am very good in going back to history as I've mentioned earlier yeah. that all the leaders that have started uh, uh, when Nigeria became Nigeria you will hear their history that at the age of 27 or 20 days that yeah. Gowan became first president in Nigeria. At the end of most of them started their days, even President Buhari that is still ruling us up to date, started at the age of 20 something when they, 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 they become this, they, they became that. So that moves me that uh, don't, how can we allow the youth era? Even me, my age was when I even contested was more than the age of uh, uh, of uh, as President Buhari, that of, time, let's uh, be 49. Yeah, yes, yes, time. yes, yes. Then when I contested, then so I was even more than the age of even General Gowan when he was president. So by the time we don't la allow our youth to believe in themselves that we can have that uh, strength and that idea to rescue this nation, it is a problem. I was very fortunate that uh, uh, I represented the youth of Nigeria. That we you can see what went. Uh, what what we went through during and before the election that we argue a lot of things before we sign the peace accord with President Muhammad Buhari that uh, if we do not put this in our in, in the peace accord we, uh, that, that there may be crisis or war before the election or or after election so we argue a lot of things to make sure that protect political parties on what to do before and after so that we, there will be no crisis or serious. Uh, or do that, something that may not lead to war before and so it was a which has made me to become one of the national stakeholder in uh, a political party era in uh, my country today because anywhere you see that they talk about a former national chairman of a political party today already i'm qualified representing yeah. the youth of nigeria and when you are talking of former presidential candidate in the in the history of uh, political uh, parties in, the, in Nigeria today on the, the era of the democracy in Nigeria name uh, my name is already it's a live appointment <laughs> so that uh, already I thank God that uh, I'm qualified now representing one of the youth of Nigeria uh, as know, a national stakeholder you not, uh, I want to know because you, yes. know, you don't know what I want contest yes about where where how where we source funds yes how, yeah. how we source fund that I was telling you that uh, even person going to a bricklayer that was our member we come then and say that okay, we want to have a traveling. Even if it is one thousand, they will do, they will contribute. That we have a journey tomorrow. Many of them will contribute. We have we use it for that trip. We are going for campaign voluntarily. People will go on their own. We okay. never go through the government or but any all other. all these big political parties yes. really see now. Yes. If they see say they are members, they contribute. Like when you did PDP, you been paid dues. Yes, you pay dues. You pay. You pay. There are little dues you pay for the party. They are making a lot of money, even selling of forms the forms of political okay. party is not a small money they generate from selling of this one look at how much uh, uh, pdp or apc sold their form uh, these are uh, these are uh, the, uh, this pres the coming 2023 election uh, even up to selling a form up to 100 million okay, okay, if you build yeah. your house you know let's know tell you how much you pay so you but but when you when, when it is only when nigerian believes in the way of selecting our leaders so look, look at what is happening in america today most of these political parties they will go on debate it is debates they will do. People, people, people even contribute money people, from outside. From Print outside. The, for the pro years on their own. Now you even vote in your house. You don't even need to go to this polling booth yes. that they will even give you 10 naira. You are, you are going to vote in your house anywhere, maybe even online. Email. You yeah. em yes, you just send where you are voting to. Then they collect it at the collection center. At the, maybe if it's like Nigeria, like the INEC control room. That is when you see results coming out. But gradually, I believe we continue working towards that also to, as we are growing as a nation. Because if not getting to that level, we are in danger. Going to all these polling booths, you can see what is happening. Because but of the insecurity. Yes, but we have to tell Nigerians, especially what you are saying now, go and get your PVC before 2023. We are going to look for a lot of avenue like this, like the chance you give to us here in other media stations also to tell Nigerians to make a lot of advocacy and sensitization and we get, tell a lot of NGOs also to please go out for you to know that Nigerians are wicked our leaders look at when we are young 
you will see this mamsa radio everywhere you see in primary school they will go with projector in the mm. night they will tell you the implication of if you do this oh. if you if you sell your vote the implication of your children and your grandchildren that will not forgive you they will organize different dramas that will make you fear that will understand they are, they, they, that will change your thinking that if you do this or ah you don't have even in local languages they will go and do it in different football fields in the night. I, they see I do that kind but, of thing but now. now we have national retention agency we have this we have that that government are allocating money to them to go and be doing the same work but if they do it they don't nigerian will know left from right but they don't want us to go out from this bondage so we are in the serious problem it's only the problem, ngo now and some civil society organizations see us without all this advocacy and our type of political party that we have a lot of work to do in sensitization, telling Nigerians that this is the danger of this thing you are, every four, four years you are thinking, it's not a small day, it's yeah, not four but, days. But we will face any political party, we will talk, say, vote by no good, that the party will not get money to, to spend. You understand? Uh, but everybody know the implication of vote by. Now, but like the big political parties will get money to spend. They're not going to want to talk because they don't see the money they to spend. More leave that side. What I want to talk about, you still be a young person, you still be a young man, you're never too old, but you don't leave youth, Sha. You know, you live out for you. Why you feel say youth not participate for this time or this 2023 election? I never really see much of youth. Number one, that is what I'm telling you. It's, there are some of things that I told you that we have a lot of work to do. Like many things that, 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 that now some youth believes in the name of political party that we have to make them to realize that there are options. The right that either APC or PDP or this one gets is the same right you get as a political party registered political party in nigeria any, to political, choose, party. any political party to win election but up to now nigeria that's what i'm saying you the whole world is moving away that would be a way of understanding and civilization and education is still very low on this, that area but we take this call nigerians to their own country with hello good afternoon uh, hello good afternoon I beg when you call sharp sharp walk up for your television day uh, so that uh, we will not get too much time today we will just take few calls so that we will hear your own contribution because i know say so you get within you one talk uh, for this matter hello good afternoon hello it's in the jam i beg but we hello good afternoon what will be your name how you call us from All right, make your contribution, Mr. Silas. Okay. Um, this is the presentation. We went to Papi uh, Primary School to get our own, but they say it's no longer there. Mm. Oga, okay, go INEC office. INEC for Area 10. Or go Buhari Area Council. You understand? And there you go fit, get sharp information. How you feel? Doing? Hello, good afternoon. When you call, what can come up for your television day so that uh, you don't go to get the echo? So you go talk sharp, sharp, make another person fit, make your own contribution. Now, sharp, sharp, I want to take on a call today. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. What will be your name and where you call us from? Women, when I want to be president, that's what I want to do us. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What will be your name and where you call us from? Oh, yeah, make your contribution now, Obaka. Um, I'm very happy to hear what the speaker is talking about. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, it will be a breakthrough for Nigeria if all the points he listed, uh, Nigeria can actually listen to them. And it's actually true that um, people are, you know, not educated about these things. In fact, I'm very happy to listen to this program today. I'm so glad that uh, I was enlightened today. Thank you. But I hope so you get your PVC. Yes. Yeah, uh, no be play, no be say yes now. Election day, I'm not gonna see you for Q. You no understand? <laughs> Every young boy and young girl, don't be to the bed with your phone. Uh, look for ways. Get network where you can connect people when I go register. You understand? Uh, I started to do WhatsApp group, when I do WhatsApp group for INEC too. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah. What will be your name and where they call us from? I'm calling from Kabusa Village. Oh, yeah, now make your contribution, bros. My chairman, you see what I want to say? We go there in this area. We don't know where we're going to get busy because we are not here. And I really want to vote this time around. 
Yes. I know it. Kabusa, Kabusa, the under Amak, Abi. Yes, under Go Amak office. The house we did near, be near Amak office. Now be INEC. Go there. You will see young people like you for there. Join the queue. Hello. Good afternoon. What will be your name? Or where they call us from? Sharp, 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 sharp. Well, I'm coming from Abuja. Which side for Abuja? Not enough. Oh, yeah, make your contribution. Oh, now wow. I they like pick children call because sometimes they feel, you know, say, well, you get away, they say they abuse children now. People say they won't tell us something. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. What will be your name and where they call us from? My name is Boniface. I'm coming from Matamania. Oh, yeah, make your contribution, Mr. Boniface. There are spending of voting people that are selling their rights with us. If they want to let the right person, make them go for the right person, let them know that they are good. It's not good. If they are leaders, they are not doing good. Let them vote the past and, and vote the good one. That's my contribution. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Boniface from Matamania. Hello, good afternoon. Now afternoon we do. Now America you do. Oh, sorry, sorry, sir. <laughs> I'm watching you before on the uh, television, so I like the way that I'm at the top. Uh, what will be your name and where they call us from? Okay, my name is Andrew. Uh, I'm calling from Osito. Oh, yeah, make your contribution, Mr. Luke. So, my contribution is uh, the truth is uh, this our Nigeria. Uh, I mean, if this man now, when they go for that television, eh, if this man can get uh, position now uh, with the concourse, I think Nigeria will go to a better hour because this man can imagine, say, look at the whole night, the whole Abuja, now only area 10, and on five time or more, and now they do uh, photos card. Imagine, eh, if this people they cannot do the job, and they say the government they cannot do the job now. Uh, different village everywhere. All right, thank you, thank you. We'll take one more call uh, before we go move. Come on from studio. Hello, good afternoon. Your call has been placed on hold. Please uh -uh. wait. Now you they place my call. I'll be having the place of Nigeria and again, man. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> I have a country point message when I want to say on a free set of WhatsApp. Uh, make we, yeah, we don't hear what they talk about. Everybody talking about PVC, PVC, PVC. Bless you, they want buy tickets so you may contest president, but you don't leave. So, what think we be seeing people there that are Nigerians with this for Lagos? Where we say they won't register. Abuja, now they learn work. Abuja, now they never even see anything. This one are Lagos, that be this. Now, stadium they use, national stadium, now they fool like this. When I go see that, they will break the gates, enter because this one, you know, if you control this kind of crowd for Nigeria. But how which Nigerians they listen when they bring information, say, make when I go register, everybody come out, carry a phone, press, do the sub, do what you supposed to do. Nobody say, now carry on a phone, they play bets, play bets, play bets. No, no, it don't set. You won't go register. The portal don't close. Okay, what would be your advice to Nigerian youths who really want to participate in election matter like contest election? What thing you want? Which will be your advice to them? Yes, is uh, in fact these uh, fellow Nigerians that uh, just called. Uh, in fact, they impressed me a lot by saying that uh, they are energetic uh, youth of Nigeria and yeah. they they believe they have hope and they are ready to say this time. I can see that uh, the sensitization program we are what we are saying we work by yeah. the grace of God before Amen. 2023 Amen. with the level of Nigerians that are saying that even. To get a PVC, that is a very sensitive area. Look at what happened in Osho, in Ekiti election yesterday. Out of three million that even register their PVC, about seven hundred and something thousand only got their PVC. Okay. Look at what they say that we, even the government not organized. But even if you even register PVC collection centers, look at how Nigerians are. Look at what for you Lagos. have done. No, for Lagos, is it normal? Is it normal? It's what you have seen on TV is showing abnormality. It is something that's supposed to be very convenient for people to register and get their BBC at very convenient time, oh. at very convenient situations. But look at how they open gates. Look at what is happening. And Nigerians, human beings, because you want to rescue yourself and your nation, 
Look at what is happening. Tell me how many of these people we get their PVC as this population are. But you Maybe from only one person now, an officer want to give PVC to all these people. Like what he's saying now, only area, area 10 or area this. It's unfortunate that you have brought a very fantastic and fantastic, fantastic idea that they create poly units. Let it be like that, that it can be easy, really, very easy for Nigerians. Go to your polling unit where you vote, go and collect or go and register and collect your PVCs. Nigeria, it is that is what they call you an organized government. So, but they are making it very difficult for us to even say to get what we are going to rescue ourselves from this problem. So uh, we, we plead to INEC to see how they can, the best they can, to solve things, how and extend time for people to get their PZ, PVC collected. Because it, it was not a good one with what I saw in Ekiti yesterday on TV, that the connection of the, the people that we vote were just uh, about, seven, about two days ago before the election. Over 3 million people even register. With their PVC, but the people collected that we were able to collect their PVC was only seven hundred and something. What happens? Sensitizations are not there. Maybe these things are even there. Like what I was telling you before, Mamsa will be going out, uh, everywhere. Announcing. With, uh, announcing with addressing system different with buses. Method with different method. Going from one village. Kabusa is a popular village. They will go there, announce, go to social place. Your card is ready. Your this is ready. But now, all those things are not happening. People who are not aware of even center where to go and collect their card. So a lot of problems, many things are going wrong in the government. Mm. How can we get it right? We want to get it right with our PVC. They are making it very difficult. We are pleading, begging this government. They should help Nigerians. The only way we can rescue our Nigeria is with our PVC, is our power. They should help us. Because Nigerians are saying that this thing is intentional. Some areas are there. They will even tell you that, they will even deny that if you are not a carrying member of social party, Many stories on social media that we are hearing that on we are seeing. Social media stories hmm? sometimes. Don't be so, sometimes are not so. Naira data because yeah. problem. Because in Lagos now you hear that they deny many people uh, even where they can do this. They can do that. Gali, but God will help us. I know. Kuna they hear they don't bring another part and come again. They say make kuna extend the time. Yes, please. We don't talk and hear. House of Reps don't talk. Everybody don't talk. Even uh, Asiwaju Shitu don't talk and again. See me the Ineck extend the time. Uh, extend time for registration so that people will still fit collect their PVC. Nigerians, they hunger. Uh, they will be hungry now for good things for this country. And I believe, say with our PVC, we feel achiever. My name is Kanem Iyang, and I'm there for Studio Sins uh, with Asiwaju uh, Shitu, in the National Former Chairman for Alliance National Party, ANP. And they're for Studio with me. And we don't talk on different issues. And I believe, say, you in the house, you don't learn one or two. We'll go soon again on Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning.